Finding ways to easily select data is key to many editing and formatting actions in Microsoft Excel. Hi, I'm Don Bjork, the Software Pro. I'm also a Microsoft Certified Trainer and Certified Excel Expert. Let's explore how to save time and effort selecting data in Excel. Have you ever been caught up with what I call the runaway mouse? This is simply where we're trying to highlight a range of values or cells and the mouse is simply not easy to control. We have too much data that we're trying to select. What are some options? This is often keyboard shortcuts or working in conjunction with the mouse and the keyboard. Let's look at some possibilities for that. To select only the active or current data range, press Control A. To select the entire worksheet, press Control A a second time. An alternative to this is to use the selection box, which appears above your rows and to the left of your column labels. That will also select the entire worksheet. Both of these actions are helpful if you want to apply some consistent formatting. What would be another way to select? To avoid getting caught up in that runaway mouse, start at the beginning of the range you want to select. And then instead of dragging your mouse, hold down the shift key and click at what will be the end of that range. Once you select, then your options could be to cut, copy, format, whatever you'd like to do with the selected range. Another variation on that is once again, start at the beginning of the range and hold down the shift key, but this time we're using our directional keys. That might be the down arrow key, right arrow key, page down, the whole time we're holding down the shift key. The nice thing about this over using the mouse or trying to drag with the mouse is that you have very specific control over exactly what you want to select. You could also use your horizontal and vertical scroll bars to navigate to where you want and then when you're holding shift you can click at the very specific location you want to go to. Another technique to consider is when you want to select non-adjacent or non-contiguous cells. In this case we're using the control key as well as the mouse. I'll hold down the control key and then click wherever I want to, whether or not these cells are close to each other or even in the same column. And then once those are selected, then it might be to apply a formatting action. In this case, I could right click and choose bold. Or we could use a keyboard shortcut, control B to apply the bold. Try these time-saving shortcuts the next time you need to select data in an Excel worksheet. For more tips and shortcuts on being productive with Excel, head to thesoftwarepro.com slash Excel. This is also where you'll find a handout of keyboard shortcuts for selecting data in Excel. If this training was helpful, please like and comment on this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Don Bjork, the Software Pro. Thanks for watching.